Episode 7, A New Job. Han's local radio show has propelled him into the zany world of youth TV. Excuse me, are you in the Verve? I think you're brilliant. Can I have your autograph? Say, Jimmy, why is the place so packed out tonight? Ah, uh, they're shooting one of those crazy Friday night anything can happen TV shows. Oh. Yes, hi, welcome to the show. Tonight we've got fat aliens, look at that freak, and we've got Princess Leia on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but first, let's see what my buddy Luke's been doing this week. Come on, let's point at him. Luke! 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 Uh, yeah, hi. Now, Luke, I happen to notice when you arrived here tonight that you're still driving that old land speeder of yours. Uh, let's just compare your ickle land speeder to my big new X Reg Millennium Falcon, which cost me one hour's wages. Funny. Oh, I love that. Do you want to see that again? Yeah. Come on, let's see that again. Uh, whatever. Oh, that's great. Come on, let, let's see that one more time. <laughs> oh, I could watch that all day. Who wants to see that again? Okay, maybe later. Right now, it's time to meet our first guest, who also happens to be this week's Fat Alien. You come from a far off star. You're a fat alien. Ha ha ha. It's Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, sit down, Jabba. Hey, I am. Thanks for coming on the show. Now, you've already had two big movies out this year, which did great business. What's next? Well, I've been doing a romantic comedy with Martin Pello, and I've been digitally added to Woody Allen's new movie, New York Problems, which I think you got a clip of, don't you? We do, but we're not going to play it until you've read out what it says on that card. Oh, okay. I'm a big fat lardy foreigner who'll do anything for money. Oh, <laughs> oh that's excellent. Okay, here's the clip. I, I can't believe this. What are you doing in my bedroom? Oh, sorry. I think there's a funny bit coming up. Oh, sorry, buddy. We ran out of time. Thanks for coming in. Jab of the Hutt, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, then. Okay, now it's time for Look at That Freak. Number one on Look at That Freak this week is a short man with a lisp. Number two is a man with a bucket on his head. And number three is a man who can lift a beer glass by harnessing the power of an ancient force. And number four is our incredibly tall old alien. So, who's it going to be? Number three is Yoda from Dagobah. So, Yoda, how did you discover you could do this trick, then? In the pub I was, mm, yes, when suddenly started to float, did my beer glass, and realized, did I, the force could help me get pissed up more easily. Mm. <laughs> it's Yoda, cantina genius, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, well, you should have seen it earlier. He was doing it all afternoon, honestly. Tried to die, but failed I did. Okay, then. Time now to go over to our friend, the Trash Monster, for comment from the compactor. Hello, everyone. That Darth Vader, right? He's crazy. This is the worst show we've ever done. Why didn't anyone check if that green guy could do that trick? I look like a total idiot. Sorry, Han. Dean said he checked it out. I don't know what happened. Oh, please, it's pathetic. It was my fault. It won't happen again. You better believe it, buddy. You're history. What are you looking at, jerky? Find somebody else to do the Leia interview. I'm going to a real bar. I say, hey, Doc, that's no Vader treater lady. Bye, everyone. Ah, fucking welcome back. And Princess fucking Leia is on the show. Oh, yeah, hi. Princess Leia, can I fucking ask you something? Okay, then. Lend us some pee for a cup of coffee. I love you, you fucking person. <laughs> hmm, looks like a case of too many wars and not enough stars. 